This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about CE 3303 solids for reviewing exam number three. The final page was on Moore Circle, which, as you know, is a very visual representation of the, the state of stress on an element, <clears throat> showing all the orientations in one convenient diagram. So in this problem we were asked to uh, draw a Moore's circle, label the points, some important points on Moore's circle, and provide the values in blanks. Well I'm just going to show them and write them on here for you. We had two different versions, slightly different states of stress for the blue test and the green test. And so for the blue test we started off with uh, this is a stress element with uh, positive 20 KSI for sigma x. Positive is up on the right side for shear. So we have positive 15 KSI for tau xy. And then we have negative 10, PS, 10 KSI for sigma y in that orientation, in that direction. Okay, so first thing to do is figure out what the center of the circle is. And I've kind of pre-done a little bit of this. But the center of the circle is just the average of these two values for sigma x and sigma y. So sigma, the average or the center of the circle, let's just write it that way, is equal to sigma x plus sigma y over 2. And that's just 20 plus negative 10 over 2. 20 plus negative 10 is 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the center is 5. So I would then, if I didn't have the circle already pre-drawn, I would find my circle, all these grid marks were given, and make that mark right there. And I would call that the center which is also going to end up being the sigma average, the average stress at that state of stress Neg is positive 5 KSI. Okay, now I need to plot my two points, sigma x with the real value of tau xy. Sigma x is 20, the horizontal is the sigma, the normal stress. This is positive shear stress, kind of unusual, it's positive down. Anyway, so I go over from this point to 20, sigma x, and then I go down to 15, and I plot that point right there. And that is 20 and 15, and that's sigma x and tau xy. Okay, now I need to plot sigma y with the negative value of t whatever it is, negative times uh, tau xy, which is positive, so it's going to be negative 15. So I go over here to negative 10 on the sigma normal stress scale, 510, and I go up here, and I go up 15, which is really I'm in negative territory. I'm just plotting the opposite of this value here. So it's that value, that point right there. Now, take a straight edge. I'm just going to try to freehand this. Connect those two points. Run it through the circle, the center of the circle. Looks something like that. Okay, the other value that's important to find is the radius. And I need to, let me label this point up here. Negative 10 and negative 15. That's sigma y and negative, whatever the value is, which is, happens to be positive, of tau xy. Okay, so the radius is going to be, there's a formula that was given to you, and but let's just figure it out from Pythagorean's theorem. I've got this value, which is from the center at 5, over to this value for sigma x, 5, 10, 15. So it's 15 squared plus the value of tau xy, this leg of the, I've got a little triangle here. So 
so this is 15 also, it's tau xy. So the square root of that, 15 squared plus 15 squared, is 21.2 ksi. Okay, so now I know everything I need to know because if I add that value to my center of 5 ksi, I get this point over here, which is sigma 1, my principal or maximum stress. It's 5 plus 21.2 or 26.2 KSI. Similarly, I can find what this value is, which is sigma 2, the minimum stress. It's 5 minus 21.2, or negative 16.2 KSI. This value right here. Last but not least, I need to get my maximum in-plane shear stress, which is just the radius of the circle. So I go up here and down here, and the value is going to be right there. Tau max is equal to the radius of the circle, 21.2 KSI. Pretty easy, eh? So those are the four values that I was asked for, tau max, sigma 1, sigma 2, and the average normal stress, 5 KSI. For the green test, it's very similar. I've got this state of stress with positive 10 KSI, sigma x, negative 10 KSI, sigma y, and positive because it's up on the right side of the element 25 KSI for tau xy. I plot sigma x which is 10 and positive 25 I go over 10 down 25 to this point so that is 10 25 sigma x tau xy um, I go over here and plot this value Envision this as if I hadn't drawn the circle already, and this time I'm not going to figure this center until I get these points plotted. There would not be that black circle there. Anyway, sigma y is negative 20, 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 20, 15, 20, and negative value of this, which is 25, to, kind of got my, I'm going to 25, and I plot that point. Then, I would take a straight edge, or I would calculate it, probably calculate it. The center is sigma average, and that's just equal to this value, 10, plus this value, negative 20, divided by 2. So the center is going to be right over here at negative 5 KSI and that's sigma average. Now if I was going to draw more circle freehand I would probably figure the radius from uh, the start and so let's do that this way this order and this time I want the square root of from negative 5 out to 10 so that's that 15 and then I want to know what this I should connect those two lines, those two points, or three points. So I've got a triangle that's 15 by 25, which is just the value of tau xy. So I do use, use Pythagorean theorem, 15 squared plus 25 squared. That equals to 29.2 KSI. Okay, so now I would probably, if I hadn't drawn my circle already, and I was trying to draw it freehand, like you would be in the middle of a test, I start at my center, which is at negative 5, and I go down 29, and I find where that point is, and that point is, and so I would kind of connect those two. Now I would just freehand in a circle, but I would also even add in this value to my center. I'd add 29.2 to negative 5. 
negative 5, come over 29.2. I'm going to be at 20, 24.2 KSI. This value right here, I'm going to already label that 24.2 KSI. 29.2 minus 5 is another way of looking at it. Over here, I've got my minimum principal stress, sigma 2, and that's equal to my center, negative 5, minus 29.2, or 34.2 KSI, negative. And last but not least, I have my, minimum, my maximum in-plane shear stress. Go down the radius, label that point as tau max, and that's equal to the radius 29.2 KSI. It's really easy problems. I wouldn't even ask for the direction or the angle 2 theta on, on uh, more circle to the principal, um, principal stresses, but if I was, that's that angle right there. 2 theta p, add 45, add 90 degrees to it, and that's going to be, or no, it's going to be this one, 2 theta s, angle from the x orientation to the angle of orientation of the maximum in-plane shear stress. Remember in the real world, I've got to divide those angles by two to get what they what the rotation of the element looks like. Nice easy problem. More circle, very useful, very quick.